So today we have a OCHEM question of the day and it asks the following compounds are related in what way and they have constitutional isomers, conformers, geometric and enantiomers. So before we actually define what each one of them are, I want to make sure that you guys can be able to flip these because you won't be able to actually answer them unless you can redraw them. Um, so this was the first molecule and this was the second one. And so right here we can't really determine whether or not there are any of those. What we have to do is we have to actually rotate it. Um, and if you can imagine in your head, if I was going to get this molecule and flip it that way, right, what would I get? I would get this. So if you can picture that, maybe you might need a, a model to, to really move it around, but picture that and you should be able to see that these two will be the same if we just flip it like that. Alright, so what we have to compare between these two is this is the same, this is the same. The only thing that's different um, is that these are going in, um, you know, the, the CH3 is going down and the CH3 is going up in that direction. Um, and if you remember before, um, this would be considered uh, E and this would be considered Z um, and how I always remember that is Z is on the same side so same side um, just remember that but what is none of these were actually um, E versus Z none of them said that so we have to go through every single type of isomer and kind of decide which one's which so this is just a general isomer it can be broken down into many different parts. So they can be broken down into constitutional and stereoisomers. And stereoisomers can go into configurational and conformational. Configurational can go into geometric and optical. And optical can go into diastereomer and enantiomers. Is so that being kind of confusing, but we'll go through every single one. So constitutional isomers um, is something that has a different placement of bonds with the same molecular formula. And just to let you know, all isomers have the same molecular formula but are rearranged differently. Um, so a constitutional isomer would be something like this versus that. So alkane versus isoalkane. Um, and geometric isomers would be E versus Z or cis versus trans. And like we saw before, um, this would be something that would be E and this would be something that would be Z on the same side. And cis versus tran would be something like this. That's cis and that's trans. So opposite would be trans, the same going on the same side would be cis. And the next one we would look at is diastereomers. So they differ by at least one stereocenter. So that would be something like, say you had R, R, R versus R, R, S. That would be a diastereomer. Um, so if you're able to find all the stereochemistry on each of the stereo stereocenters, and there are R, R, R versus R, R, S, diastereomer. And epimer um, would be something that differs by exactly one um, stereocenter. And so this would also be an epimer, but the most common one is glucose versus galactose. So glucose looks something like this. Um, all right. um, so it just differed by uh, carbon number 4. And so enantiomers are something that have the exact opposite stereochemistry um, at every stereocenter and they're non-superimposable Im mirror images. Um, so something like if it was RRSS, that would be a, um, an enantiomer. Okay, so the last one is conformers. Um, they're also called rotomers or conformational isomers. Um, and they differ by rotation around a sigma bond. Um, and so Gauss versus anti versus eclipse is a type of conformational isomers. Um, and so the, if you don't remember, it's okay. But the first one we have right here, we have CH3s going in, uh, one going up in the front and one going down in the back. This would be considered anti. Um, and the ones where the CH3s are right back to back each other, like a solar eclipse, um, is eclipsed. And the ones where they're next to each other, but they're not right behind each other, is going to be gauche. Um, so if we look back at our question, we see that the, the answers were constitutional, conformers, geometric, and enantiomers. And we know that one is E, one is Z. Um, so this would actually be geometric isomers. 
Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.